Hey, Hedgehog Maniacs, Bell Melon Heads, Sonic X17 here. I'm back again. I'm getting ready to have another talk. Well, face to face with Van Lemon again. As you can see, it says second week. What does she have to say this time? I don't know. Time to find out. Let's go. Welcome back, my puny, stupid melon head. I'm so happy you returned to have another weekly chat with me. I was able to drain some more melon power from your dumb melon queen. She may be a little weaker, but hey, at least we can talk a little more longer, right? Yes, but remember, I'm not here just to chat. I'm here to defeat you, evil lemons. <laughs> How exciting. But aren't you a little worried that all of your efforts will lead to nothing? For all we know, I could be stalling you from saving your stupid little melon queen. The melon heads are strong. We'll defeat you before. We can easily defeat you again. Oh, wow. What a sweet little melon head you are. What are you going to do next? Make me a tomato salad and have a little picnic with me? Eh. <sighs> I hate you puny melon heads and your stupid colorful sweetness. It irritates me to no end. Fine, fine. Let's just get started on the questions instead. Oh, please go ahead. I'm dying to hear what you want to ask me. Uh, well, then again, I think your Melon Queen is probably dying more. <laughs> Last week you didn't have the time to answer everything. Let's try this again. Go ahead. I'm listening. Are there any more evil limits out there? Who knows? There could be or there couldn't be. I don't feel like giving you the big history lesson about us lemons. It'll probably be best if you just deal with us for now, for your precious Melon Queen's sake. What do you mean by us? Who else are you working with? I really don't think you'll like that answer. What do you mean? I wouldn't like that answer. Don't get snarky with me, idiot. As much as I love to this is why I can't explain these things yet. The only thing I can do for uh, now you guys is saw that, right? questions you're prepared to hear. Fine. Had you ever thought of maybe ever being a nice lemon for a change? Or just making your own YouTube channel? See, this is why I can't stand you stupid melon heads. You think that life is all about being sweet and kind to others. Be kind, don't forget these happy happy things and everything will turn out okay. Well, guess what? It's not that easy for us lemons. Apart from you sweet fruits, lemons are sour. We were born to be bitter at the core. Humans will always hate us and our personality. They will always throw us lemons in the trash and choose sweet, pretty things instead. You never went through life tasting nothing but bitter. Seeing nothing but bitter. I mean, some people like eating sour candy. Sour candy is just cheap, fake sour filled with plastic fluff, bad apples, and rotten oranges. Huh? Imagine this. Take a nice, fresh lemon, slice it all up, and then try to eat the whole thing up whole. That's a real lemon. The real deal. Not that fake plastic candy treat you call sour. But... Eat a real lemon, and if you can't handle the true bitter, then you're just as pathetic as everyone else. Hold on! Some people do like sour! Some might even like sweet and sour things! Ugh! Please! And tomatoes are vegetables! People have called us bad fruits evil for decades and we can't stand it! Just because a few of you puny melon heads might prefer sour things doesn't change anything. But- Besides, where does being nice get you in life if you're always hated? Look, you, you're not really you're listening. missing my point! I have survived both of my lives being bitter and stealing fruit power. Well, Like lives? I already told you, lemons are considered weaker than many popular fruits. That's why us sour fruits have to be tougher. Fight and attack anyone who stands in our way to survive in this world. And you know who doesn't need to attack other fruits to survive? Melons? Dumb, sweet little fruits like yourself. And guess what? Vanna Melon does not deserve that stupid crown of hers. I do. But you can't, but you can't make your own channel. Monica. <sighs> that, 
You don't get it. You don't understand a single bit of it. Survive. Attack. To be bitter by nature. Being nice gets you nowhere in life. I'm sorry. I just think you need to hear me out. Shut up. Stop. I told you already. I'm not gonna be lectured and have some picnic with you. I think you're lucky that lemons are this week before Halloween. I would do anything to just kill her now. <laughs> Time's up. No more power. Sending you back now. Wait, wait, hold on! What? What did you mean by both of your lives? Could you at least explain what that means before I go? Run off and tell your melon heads everything you've learned today. And next week, if you're a little nicer, I'll be happy to show you another form of minds. Ta-ta for now. Wow. I know Van Eleven wants to take over Van Melon's channel, but to be honest, I've never seen this side of Van Eleven. I don't think it's her that's doing this, though. I know who it is. It's Monica. I know it. Do you remember a part of the video that I saw during the chat? I'll show it to you. I went and reversed that part of the video. And here's what it said after I reversed the audio. You, you heard that, right? It said, will you help me? But I don't know who's asking for help. Is it Van Lemon? Is it Monica? Or is it Van Lemon herself? I don't know. But, but like I said, you hedgehog me X know that I have a problem when it comes to Monica, right? But I don't know what is going on now. I think I'm starting to feel sorry for Van Lemon. I don't know. I really don't know what to think. I am confused about the situation more than ever. I wonder what Paradomix has to say about this. Because I know he's gonna see this too. But let me know what you hedgehog me actually better melon heads think about this one as well. What your thoughts are, and let me know in the comments below. I'll be back for week three on this. But until then, Sonic X17 signing out. Like I said.